Hi, everybody out there. My name is Yomi Kasali. Welcome to another vlog of mine. This time around on Inspire Today, I'll be sharing something different, something that people would not expect me to speak on. But the reason I'm going to be speaking on that subject is simply because Apostle Paul told us in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 6, I like that passage very much. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, if you put the brethren in remembrance of these things, in other words, it says, Thou shalt be a good minister of our Lord Jesus Christ. I used to think one of the things that it takes to be a great preacher is to preach new things, new revelation, new insights, new ideas, new concepts, something new in scriptures. But, but Paul said, no, no. If you can only remind the people about the simple, basic things, you will be a great minister. Many of us have forgotten the basics and the simple things of faith. We want to share the new revelations and the deep bones of scriptures. We don't want milk anymore. There's nothing wrong with milk. Even most adults still take milk. The only point is they don't survive on milk alone. Now, let me share with you one of the things that's basic that I found out in that same passage. Verse number 8 of that same passage tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 4, For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. The earlier passage says, exercise thyself unto godliness. It now says, for bodily exercise profits a little. Yet, he was speaking about exercising ourselves unto godliness. Listen, the full godly person must be fit and healthy. And in this day, this pandemic that is ravaging the earth in a terrible and unbelievable way, it's, the numbers are alarming. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the deaths is increasing. The, the spike is there. We're trying to bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Yet, many of us are locked down. I've never been locked down like this in my entire life. To just keep me in the house like a prisoner. But guess what we have to do? I don't want to come out of lockdown, pot belly, fat face, and I look like someone who's just been out of somewhere. Why? Because I'm eating every food I've stocked at home. Keep yourself safe at the same time fit. Keep it healthy. Don't just eat anyhow. Because I know in a couple of days when I see some people, I'll be like, hey, where are you coming from? How come you put on so much weight? Don't put on so much weight. The Bible tells us bodily exercise profits a little. There is nothing wrong with praying and with praying in tongues and at the same time doing some healthy work. Don't eat too much. Eat wisely. Eat healthy food. Make sure you exercise every day. Take a walk if you live in a house like I do. Walk down the stairs. Go to your home gym if you have a gym at home. If you don't have a gym at home, because guess what? You have to go to somewhere to go and have a gym. Make sure you do whatever exercise you can to burn some fat and drop some calories. Eat safe. Make sure your food you eat is something that is healthy. I beg you in God's name, please, 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 my brothers and sisters all over the world, anywhere you are, eat less of ice cream. Make sure you drink lots of water. Don't get addicted to the things that will make you gain so much weight that you lose them becomes a battle. Don't leave one battle called COVID and start fighting another battle called weight loss. Please, I beg you, be wise. It's the scriptures that we must do bodily exercise. Find a way as you do social distancing. Find a way to do your push-ups. I don't know how many push-ups you can do. If you know you can't do as many push-ups as much as possible, sit on your bedside and just move your set your body up and down, up and down, up and down. There are many things you can do to so ensure you're not only safe, you're also fit and healthy. Because you can be safe and be unhealthy. I don't want you to be your own worst enemy. Please. There's nothing wrong with bodily exercise. The Bible tells us to do bodily exercise. Take a walk in your estate if you can. Maintain social distancing as you take a walk. Wash your face, wash your hands, but make sure you are fit and healthy, not just safe and sound. I'll see you again tomorrow. This same place inspired today. I hope you've inspired. Let me quickly pray with you. Father, I pray for your children here today as they made a confession to be healthy. I pray you keep them safe and you keep them fit in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. I see you tomorrow in the same place. Inspire today. My name is Yomi Kasali. Bless you. Hi, everybody out there. My name is Yomi Kasali. Thank you for today. Today I want to break the hold of fear over you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for those watching by video right now.